Werewolf sims who reach max fury will erupt with rage and start rampaging. During this time, werewolves have very little control of themselves and will give in to their beastly instincts. Are you gonna break everything in my house? Really? Oh no. So I've got early access to the new werewolves pack for The Sims 4 and I was thinking it might be kind of fun to do like a little mini series. Mostly I just want to play with the pack right now so I figured I may as well record it and take you along for the ride. And thank you by the way to EA for giving us early access to this pack. I'm not being like paid or anything, I literally just have the pack a day early. My goal with this little mini series is literally to just play with the pack and have fun. I'm really in the mood to play some Sims tonight. I guess I kind of always am, but I don't have like a big challenge planned. I, I just want to play The Sims and hang out. So I've got a little family made here. We're gonna play with my new Sim, Wendy Wolf. Get it? Wolf, because werewolf. And her twin sister, Taylor. They've got a dog called Comet. And then this guy right here is Taylor's stinky fiance. His name is Kyle. I feel like you can just tell because his name is Kyle, but this man is bad. And the two sisters live together here in this like sort of abandoned factory starter home that I built. I think it's actually kind of cool. There isn't really a lot going on in here. It's pretty small. So we've got like a little kitchen, a little living room area, a couple things for the dog. There's one bathroom downstairs. Although now that I think about it, I'm probably going to need a bathtub. I suppose I should do that quickly. That'll work. Okay. We have this one bathroom downstairs and then upstairs, it's kind of just like a shared lofted bedroom. Again, it is nothing fancy. I kind of just imagine them sort of taking over this abandoned place and like turning it into a house, even though it didn't used to be. The storyline is that Wendy got turned into a vampire by accident, I think by Kyle. And honestly, I feel like she was kind of made for it. She loves it. I just said that Wendy got turned into a vampire by accident, but I'm talking about Taylor who got turned into a wolf. Sorry. She's active, ambitious, and outgoing. I feel like this sim might even try and take over one of the existing packs in this town. She likes the colors black and green, um, in case you couldn't tell. She also likes cooking and fitness though, and these are all of her other outfits. I'm actually really excited about this sim. I think she is so cool. This is her wolf form. I didn't really change anything about it. I kind of just let the game give me what it gave me, and I actually kind of like it. And then this sim is Wendy. This is Taylor's twin sister. Sister, and Wendy is not a werewolf. Wendy is a vegetarian clumsy bookworm. She also likes the color green. She's into gardening and mischief. And in my mind, I think that Wendy has a sort of fascination with werewolves after her sister turned into one. She's constantly reading about them. She's been writing her own werewolf books. And I think she secretly envies her sister and kind of wishes that she could be a werewolf too. Here are all of her outfits. I had a lot of fun dressing both of these. Oops, <laughs> I forgot one. Hang on. Okay, here are all of her outfits. Uh, this is her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfit. And then of course, here is Comet. They both actually have the new werewolf aspiration. Wendy is an author and her sister Taylor is actually in the astronaut career. It just felt right, you know? We're doing all this moon stuff. We might as well go to space. And I think I want to start off today by maybe trying to get to know some other werewolves in town. I feel like the wild fangs are probably a really good fit for Taylor. They're a scrappy, free-spirited group of werewolves. They believe the werewolf lifestyle is the ultimate gift and they're going to make the most of it. The world is the Wild Fang's playground. While exploring the vast world to expand the pack's influence, members are also expected to commit to ongoing self-improvement, aiming to become the best werewolf possible. The other one is the Moonwood Collective. It's a more dignified group of werewolves. Members are expected to be tactful, prudent, and diplomatic. They seek to make meaningful connections with all sims, and this includes mastering fury control to become more approachable and friendly to non-werewolves. And I feel like that one probably would appeal a little bit more to Wendy. Of course, she's not actually a werewolf yet. <laughs> yet, maybe soon. I'm sorry to like blow you off here, Kyle, but I'm not really interested in talking to you. In fact, I would much rather come try and get to know some other more interesting werewolves. No offense. But like this sim here, Rory, is the leader of this pack and I kind of want to come get to know her. Friendly introduction, perhaps? Oh my god, not a spellcaster. Go away! <laughs> I gotta deal with one occult at a time, please. Oh no, not the wedding pack too. <laughs> Make a joke about marriage. I feel like I have to get to know Rory a little bit more and then hopefully I could ask to become a friend of the Wild Fangs. Don't you dare let the Moonwood Collective make you feel guilty for going on a rampage around town, Taylor. That's just the moon's gift to you, really. It's efficiency. Think of all the places you can gallop off to and see with all that fury channeling through you. The possibilities are endless. Give gift, 
Smolian? Yeah, you want a hundred bucks? Can I bribe you? <laughs> Is, is that fine? Okay, well, annoyingly, we don't have any abilities like transformation mastery or anything yet, but I might start buying some stuff like the territory marking and maybe the scavenger one. It looks like we're a restless animal who feels too constrained indoors and will gain extra fury without anything fun to do. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. Why are you doing push-ups? <laughs> okay. I might come try and meet Lou as well while we're here. The closer we can try and get to these people, the better, I think. Howl. Mark territory. Oh my god! They weren't kidding. I just peed on the floor. Do it again. Wow, look how fast your hygiene goes down when you do that. Oh my god. Now she's scratching the furniture. Can you, do I have to replace that? 62 simoleons to replace the scratches. <sighs> Perhaps werewolves were a mistake. I was curious to see if there was any like special interactions between werewolves and dogs, but I don't think there is. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Well, you know what? Maybe we could go try and do some research at the library. I've been meaning to go into there and start like trying to read some of the books. Couple reasons. Number one, we can get more lore and like more information out of those books. But also I think Wendy just really wants to. <laughs> That's like her whole thing. Beyond big and bad, rethinking harmful werewolf stereotypes. The werewolf who came in from the cold? Or possibly the wolf next door? Things heat up fast for Ginger when she meets the mysterious werewolf next door. It's not long before she feels the moon's pull. Oh my. Should we read that one? <laughs> there seem to be entire passages of this written in an indecipherable language. The only thing Wendy can make out are some symbols that look like the moon. As the handshake ended, Ginger felt her inner wolf cry out. There was a connection between the two of them. One that both terrified and excited her. Had he felt it as well, his steely expression led her to believe that he had not, that she was no different from any other new neighbor he had felt obligated to meet. The thought weighed heavier in her heart than she'd anticipated. Oh, I'm sorry. Ew, what did you do? Uh-oh, I'm starting to glow red. Ooh, maybe we should go back home <laughs> if your fury's getting that high. Uh-oh. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Honestly, I might go like try and lock you inside so you don't do anything you regret. Maybe you can stay out here in the meantime. <laughs> oh, Taylor, do you want to come plant some garden stuff? At this rate, that might be the only way we're going to make money, so <laughs> you probably should. Did you break this? Oh, you broke that too? Very tense. The walls are closing in from werewolf temperaments. Taylor needs to get outside right now. You've barely been inside. And look what you caused. Oh my God. <laughs> we are in for it with this one. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh, the fury goes up fast. Oh no. Well, I can't do- I mean, I should just accept it, I bet. Oh, here we go. Taylor is transforming. Ugh, yikes! <laughs> Werewolf sims who reach max fury will erupt with rage and start rampaging. During this time, werewolves have very little control of themselves and will give in to their beastly instincts. Are you gonna break everything in my house? Really? Oh no. I can't click on anything because Taylor is rampaging. So you're just gonna run around and break stuff? Really? Well, hey, we became a tier two werewolf. <laughs> We became a runt. Okay. It looks like we also got the hungry like the wolf one. Oh, so you're gonna be more hungry now? Are you peeing on the floor again? Look what you've caused. Are you serious? Oh my God. I can't do anything to stop it. <laughs> Have you just waited out for the next 30 minutes? You broke literally everything in the entire house. Oh my God. Okay, well, at least we learned how to transform. Like we unlocked the transformation mastery, which is what I wanted. Oh, I can learn how to hunt for food. Oh, we should do do that. Feeling hungry? With this ability, Taylor can eat almost anything, including the couch? What? Oh, I can attempt to regain control while rampaging? Let's buy that one too. Okay, and I guess, um, do you want to go to sleep? Like, all of you? Because, um, it's 3 a.m., so that's my bad. Sorry. Ooh, Taylor's got work now? Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh no. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, and you're like, your fury is so high. <gasps> This is harder than I thought it would be. Um, should I just like replace everything in here? Or is that a bad idea? I might just do it. I don't know. It won't hurt, right? Everything's broken. The whole house is broken. Kyle, you wanna hang out with me? You're engaged to my sister. Oh no, now we have work too. Okay, well, at least we made it through the morning. <laughs> At least we survived. Barely. Oh, you're very grumpy. Lunar peace. Taylor is feeling well rested after sleeping during the new moon. Oh. Oh, and today we gain increased skill from fitness activities. I think I want to come into town and try and talk to the pack a little bit more. Although it appears nobody is even here. <laughs> I was hoping. Oh, here we come. She did show up. Well, I was sort of hoping that we could like talk a little bit more to her. See if I could convince her to be my friend. Oh, are you good? Oh, okay. Yikes. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Challenge to tug of war? Oh. 
Ew, I don't like my work outfit. That's bad vibes. Maybe if we get a selfie together, I can kind of trick her into liking me more. I would very much like to become a friend of the pack. Please, 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 please. Oh, look at you, brand spanking new friend of the wild fangs. Feel free to hang out with us whenever or pop in and use our trailer. And hey, you don't have to do this, but we won't say no if you have any cool stuff to give us in the future. Every bit counts, you know? What, you want me to give you stuff? Are you serious? Should we do a demonstrate scavenging trial? I'm sorry, this is my first time trying this. I don't actually know the best way to do it. Oh, I'm de oh, I'm demonstrating my scavenging. I'm digging right in the ground. Did you like it? Okay, we can also give some collectibles or excellent quality food and we can do a werewolf spar with Rory. I'll try. I'm gonna lose, but I'll try. Oh, that was good. Okay, well, I guess if we can give some, like, better quality stuff tomorrow, we should be able to join the pack tomorrow. I have forgotten to take care of my dog. I need to let it go potty. I've been busy taking care of my other dog, um, <laughs> which is a little bit more taxing. Well, I wonder if you could, like, serve up some better quality vegetable dumplings right now. You do like cooking, so it's possible. Oh, no. I got tense for a second because the walls are closing in. No! What what am I supposed to do? Like sleep outside? That is excellent quality though. Oh, can I give it to Rory now? <laughs> can I join the pack now? I don't want to be inside anyway, so. <sighs> Pack leader's not even here. Whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm serious, do I need to like buy you a tent or something? Like, do you wanna sleep outside? Look, if this is important to you, that's fine, but it's a little bit ridiculous. Come here, you can come sleep outside. Has that solved your problem? Oh, well you stepped in poop, that didn't help. I don't even really need to sleep. I think partially because I'm a werewolf, my like energy goes down slower. I'm gonna try and take advantage of this like increased skill gain thing while I can really quickly. Cause that moon face stuff is interesting. Uh oh. Why? Sudden craving? I need food now? Are you serious? Well, well this is very stressful. <laughs> Do a savage poo. Okay. Okay, well, Rory is here. So we could come over here and give the food now. Rory, werewolf pack, join pack. Give excellent quality food. You want some vegetable dumpling? <laughs> I worked really hard on these. Did it work? Oh, I can ask to join now. Well, that was actually quite easy. Before you join, remember that the wild fangs stand for embracing all aspects of werewolf life. We value three things the most. First, no lazy pack mates. You'll actually have to contribute to the pack and help out. Second, stay on that grind. You've got to work to improve yourself as a werewolf. And third, we don't keep our talents limited to Moonwood Mill. You'll need to get out there, expand your horizons, and maximize our impact everywhere. What? Okay, well, now we get jerky bites delivered weekly, one issue of Bark Magazine, and some new pack exclusive interactions, okay? Oh, it wants me to expand and explore. So I can explore the underground tunnels, or I could travel outside of the town and mark my territory there. Huh. Okay, well, I also will benefit from like talking to my pack mates. Give Lou a pack mate gift. I don't want you to have my magazine. You can't have that. Sorry. I was gonna, but I changed my mind. Whoa, look at you. Maybe I'll just read my little magazine. Oh, they give gifts to each other all the time. That's hard. Oh, my dog came over. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. If you come to help us, comment. Okay, I read the book. Oh, look at all these pack resources. Oh, I could take one? <gasps> no way. Oh, and I put it back. Did I gain anything from that? <laughs> I took it and then put it straight back. Maybe I'll go hunt for food a little bit. I'm sorry, this is all very interesting. I'm, I'm just trying to like go about my day. Learn. Oh, I'm... I just left, it disappeared, and now I'm hunting for food. I'm still just trying to learn what all of this does. <laughs> like, I'm just, um, experimenting. I return with some meat that I found. Oh, wow. Can I contribute that to my pack resources? Look, I'm here to try and convince them to like me. You can have this raw meat. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Go for feral run. Wow. <gasps> Who is that? Samson Astray. Hi. How do I fix my fury problems? I'm getting a little bit worried. Howl. Maybe I return to normal. See if that helps. I don't know. Well, you know what? Meanwhile, while. I think while Taylor is off, like, you know, doing werewolf things, I feel like Wendy is maybe hanging out around here. Maybe she's coming to try and chat with Christopher. I think one good thing about Christopher is that, hello? One good thing about Christopher is that he's obviously very willing to, like, chat to humans and, and try and maybe give us some info. Why won't you talk to me? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe he isn't willing to chat to humans. Well, you think I'm boring? Okay, maybe he's not willing to chat to humans. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. So Christopher is actually Rory's father. He's 
sort of like takes in werewolves and he basically raised Rory, except clearly the two of them don't really get along so much anymore. Look, I'm trying to cheat. I'm taking pictures together with him. If it gets my relationship up faster, then so be it. Oh, because tonight is the first quarter moon. My werewolf has increased relationship gain and loss. That is really interesting. I can ask you for the cursed bite. I won't do it yet, but that is very good to know. Oh, you're in your tent. Okay. Well, I was gonna go see if maybe Kyle wants to go out on a date tonight. We're supposed to be engaged to this man and I have not spent a single second with him. So <laughs> maybe I should go hang out with him. Oh, now he calls me and asks me out on a date as if it wasn't my idea. Let's go to the Grimtooth bar, maybe. Make wolf eyes at. Growl seductively. Yee. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Tell joke about werewolves, okay? Uh-oh. My fury is getting very full. <laughs> That's not good. Woohoo in bush. Should we do that? Well, we might as well. Okay, we are no longer at the bar. We have come... Are you serious? If I knew you were gonna go this far away, I wouldn't have done it. Well, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to be at the bar. I wanted to hang out at the bar. I'm going back to the bar. If I actually get increased relationship gain, I feel like now is probably a really good time to like introduce myself to these people. I'm kind of obsessed with this Celine person, I won't lie. I would very much like to get to know her. <laughs> Did it work? Did you introduce yourself? <gasps> ah! Caleb and Taylor now despise each other? Okay, Caleb. Do you want to fight him? Insult feeble nature. This is my first time interacting with an, a, a vampire as a werewolf. Imply mother is a bat. No, like actually though, can I beat you up? Supernatural Smackdown. I feel like my friends are gonna like this from my pack. I really hope I win. Oh, oh, that seems glitched. Okay, it's back. Oh, I beat him up. Boo, stupid vampire. Oh, I feel so powerful right now. This is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely excellent. Well, I gained another ability point as well. I don't know if I should save points for when I get higher up or if I should get something now. Oh, but this somber howl can reduce fury. I think I need that, like badly. <laughs> okay, and then I should probably go home. I guess my date kind of sucks. Oh, my date really sucks. Wait, stop. Oh no, offensive conversation. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Caress cheek. Oh no, 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 no. Ask for a question. Has Taylor found her faded werewolf mate. Every werewolf has one true love destined by the moon. Oh no. We were just fighting at the bar. It's fate. Do you believe in fated love between werewolves? Because right now I sure do. Fated mates. These werewolves are tied together for life by the strings of fate. Oh, that's bad. I was gonna have them get broken up. <laughs> I was gonna have this whole thing. She was gonna dump him because he sucks. And now we're fated mates. Great. Just great. Awesome. <laughs> now what? <laughs> that kind of throws off my plans. Okay, you know what? We will deal with that in the morning. Should I try that somber howl thing? Oh, that helped a lot. Okay, good. Cause it was like about to transform us. I think I may have fixed it. Oh my God, I forgot to turn dust off. <laughs> oh no, I don't want that at all. No, turn off the dust system, please. No, thank you. Oh, all right. Well, you have work today. So try not to have a rough day at work. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about you, I won't lie. I had Wendy take the day off though. Cause I think I want her to spend a little bit more time doing some more werewolf research. And perhaps this afternoon when Taylor gets home from work, we could attempt to convince her to transform us. I think at this point with like Taylor off just being a werewolf all day every day, I think Wendy is getting a little bit jealous. Beyond big and bad, rethinking harmful werewolf stereotypes. And I don't want Wendy to be jealous. I don't want her to be sad. I finished the whole book and I didn't get a single like interesting fact, not a single pop up. As the handshake ended, Ginger felt her inner wolf cry out. Oh, oh, interesting. <laughs> we finished reading some books, so I'm heading back to the house now. I kind of want to just wait until Taylor gets home so that I can try and convince her to turn me into a werewolf. I suppose in the meantime, I should probably interact with the dog a little bit. That's one way. I'll be like, look, see, I'm so good with dogs. <laughs> I should be a wolf. Yeah, that'll, that'll show her. That's the way. Ah. Well, she has returned home and she was promoted. Unfortunately, my fury is still doing very bad. So that's not good. Oh shoot, Taylor doesn't have the curse bearer ability. Duh, well you're not even close to getting that, are you? Oh no, the walls are closing in. Oh, my temperament. This is extremely concerning. Okay, well, I think my new plan is to invite Christopher over and see if I can get him to turn me. <laughs> We're kind of close friends. Ask for cursed bite. Do you think he'll do it? I think it's possible. I want to be a werewolf so bad. <gasps> Wait, oh, I think he's gonna do it. Oh no. Oh, here we go. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh. My arm is glowing. I'm tense from beastly presence. All right, as if you're not used to being around a werewolf, your sister is one. Oh, painful bite for the next two hours. Does this look infected to you? All right, I think I might leave this episode off right here on this little cliffhanger of us about to turn into a werewolf. Blossom, leave me alone. I don't, well, actually, I'll take the money. <laughs> then I can quit my job. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end this part though. Don't worry, I have a whole bunch more werewolf content coming your way this week. I've got a lot of videos planned, so feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And if you're planning on buying the werewolves pack today or tomorrow, these are the last two days of that like creator code beta. So if you buy the pack, you can use code LILSIMSY at checkout. It's not a discount code, it's a creator code, so it'll give me 5% of your purchase. I know, it's wild, right? Like take money from EA and give it to me. But it's like a super limited beta. It's just like 10 creators from around the world. Not all of them are English speaking. And it's been just like a month and it ends like tomorrow. So if you're planning on buying the pack and you want to use the code, that would be great. I am really hoping this creator code beta thing they're doing goes well because I would love to see them expand it to like all of the EA creator network in the future. This is like, again, a super limited, super short beta, but fingers crossed it works out. That's just code LILSIMSY at checkout. And with that all being said, I am gonna go. So thank you for watching and I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'm serious though, I've got so much other werewolf content coming. Like I filmed a video trying to speed run woohooing Greg. It was excellent content.